What is up guys, welcome back to another video today guys. We are doing my reactions to the scores in the Premier League today. Um yeah. Some um there's a uh, so there's I'm pretty sure yep, four games that happened today. Um which is pretty good. We'll go be doing this tomorrow as well because there's a couple games tomorrow. We'll be looking at them as well. Um but guys, before we get into this game um this game really game review, make sure to obviously subscribe to the channel, it'd be absolutely amazing if you can. Trying to hit 1,400 by the end of the week, so if you can, guys, it'd be really helpful. And yeah, um, please do obviously help. And let's get into it, guys. Whew. So, the first one Brighton, Hove Albion, these Chef United. Now, Chef United are bottom of the table, um, but they're not doing really good, they're only on one point. And yeah, they play Brighton today, and it goes 1 0 up. Um, Sheffield United, they go in the lock. Uh, no, sorry, they have a red card. Sheffield United, um, Landstrom, that Rangers were actually the same, um, got red carded for Sheffield United, and um, yeah, it was half time now. Now, um, there was one red card to send uh, Sheffield United. They at the 65 minute, Sheffield United got a goal, Buggle scored, um, uh, Buggle scored. And made it 1-0 to Sheffield uh, United. Then at the 87th minute, Danny Welbeck, Welbeck um, obviously played for Arsenal, played for Man United, really good striker, scores and makes it 1-1, which is really good obviously because for Brian Mitten to snatch a point pretty much, um, I'm looking for Sheffield United, but they do need to start picking up points point Sheffield United if they don't want to get relegated. Um, and yeah, but they picked up a point today. The stats were 21 shots to Brighton, 5 to Sheffield United, 5 on target from Brighton, 3 on target by Sheffield, 74 possession to 26, 545 passes to 203, 84 pass, pass accuracy to 64, 9 fouls to 11, 1 yellow card to 5 uh, yellow cards, obviously 1 red card, 1 corner uh, to 2 corners, Um. No, sorry, that was offside. And corners was 14 to Brighton. Wow. Um, but yeah, that will be a bit better for Sheffield United trying to get points wise. But they've got their side of the point. Big game today. And to be honest, with Liverpool, it doesn't really matter at all because no matter what, a team that's one of these teams, Leicester and Tottenham, are teams that are challenging for first place right now. And Liverpool obviously need uh, one of these teams to lose. Um, and this is obviously granted to them. And the team that has lost was Tottenham, which 2-0 to Leicester City. Um, that's a really good score, actually. I think I had, um, in the footy polls, I think I had Leicester City down in it. So that was actually pretty good. Um, the shots were 8-17, 3-4 on target, 57 possession to 43, 518 passes to 406. 78 pass accuracy to 79, 15 fouls to 14 fouls, 2 yellow cards each, 0 red cards, 2 offsides to 4 offsides, and 5 corners to 3 corners. Really by the stats, I would say majority Leicester were actually the better side. I definitely say. I definitely say um, they were more of the better side um, by listening to the stats. Um, Jamie Vardy at the 45 um, plus 4. Scored, scored a penalty at the 45 plus 4, so put him on the up. Jamie Vardy's having a party. Then at the 59th minute, Aldo derailed, puts an own goal away. So, yeah, it's obviously not ideal for Tottenham, and that will be really big um, for the table. Um, oh. Um... Okay, well, guys, I'm going to have to be quiet for a moment, but Man United v Leeds United, um, this is quite weird. At the second minute, McTominay puts them 1-0 up, right? Then at the third minute, McTominay puts them 2-0 up. Then at the 20th minute, Bruno Fernandes gets his third goal of the game, uh, third goal for Man United. Then at the 37th minute, Lindelof gets a goal. You never see him score actually. Um, then Lee Cooper, a Scotsman, scores uh, to make it four one. Then 
Ben Daniel James puts a 5 1 up. Yeah! Puts a 5 1 up. Um, and then at the 70th minute, Bruno Fernandes with a penalty puts that away. And then Stuart Dallas for a Leeds 73rd minute. 6 2. Wow, really, that's shocking of a score. McTominay, I need to see the goals he scored, but 26 shots to 17 shots. There's a lot of shots in the game. 14 on target to 3 on target, 41 possession to 59 possession, 354 passes to 478 passes, 77 business pass accuracy to 83 pass accuracy, 6 fouls each, 1 yellow card to Man United, 0 red cards, 2 offside to 4 offside, 11 corners to 13 corners. <coughs> The stats really do sound quite serious. Add to the shots, 26 shots to 14 on target. Add to that's where it kind of came from. With um, the Leeds only got 17 shots, 3 on target, so I would say that's where it came from. But yeah, that's a big game, I would say, for Man United. And the last game of the BPL today, which is West Brom v Aston Villa, which the finishes go first 3 0. Um, so it starts off at the fifth minute. El Ghazi, Ghazi scores to put Aston Villa one nil up. Then at the thirty eighth minute, thirty sixth minute, sorry, West Brom go uh, a red card down. Livermore, don't know who that is, but go red carded for West Brom. Then at the eighty fourth minute, Triori scored to make it two 0 and then at the eighty eighth minute. A penalty from El Garza again, and that was at um, one shot on one shot to nineteen shots, one shot on target to ten shots on target, thirty two possession to sixty eight possession, two hundred and eighty passes to five hundred and sixty eight passes, six sixty eight pass accuracy to eighty five pass accuracy, fourteen fouls to eight fouls, one yellow card to two a yellow cards, one red card to zero. One offside to four offsides, one corner to seven corners. That's quite big. Um, but yeah, we'll go and look at the table now, guys. And this has impacted on the BPL teams. <laughs> so Leicester go to some uh, second place, and the knocks Tottenham down to fifth, which is quite good. Um, only four points off Liverpool now, so they're gonna have to obviously win. But Man United with the game in hand, if they win that game in hand, Man United, um, they're only one point behind Liverpool. So there's still a lot of people in the title race. Um, I'd say really Everton's in it still, Man United and Leicester. I'd say the only team's really in it. But Leicester get put up to second place. Aston Villa go into ninth place which is pretty good for them so we're going to Aston Villa Crystal Palace dropped because I got a minus one goal difference to Newcastle um, Leeds United get dropped to 14th place which is <laughs> wow um, Brighton stay the same and Sheffield United have two points and West Brom stay on seven so yeah table has changed obviously but Definitely top is looking quite, quite, how would you say, competitive. But guys, it's going to be the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to the channel. It'd be absolutely amazing if you can. It helps so much out. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace out. Goodbye.